celebrate the 2012 Nobel Prize in Physics to Dr. Dave Wineland of NIST and the University of Colorado. Dr. Wineland and his uh, colleague, Dr. Hirosh, are absolute uh, maestros at engineering the states of quantum systems. In Dr. Wineland's case, it's ions, electrically charged atoms, making them do all kinds of tricks and, and unique things to enable advanced measurements, advanced research, and uh, all kinds of other innovations. And with that, we'll ask Dave Wineland to please come up and uh, say a few words, and congratulations, Dave. So um, I actually slept through the, the phone <laughs> ringing and my wife got up and then handed me the phone. Some of the things that he has worked on are related to making better atomic clocks. And atomic clocks are involved in our modern technology infrastructure in all different kinds of ways. Dr. Wineland's work is also uh, paving the way for the possibility of quantum computing, making vastly powerful more computers than today's best supercomputers that could tackle problems that we can't even think about solving now. Our experiments, we use light, electric fields from the light from these laser beams to probe atoms, in our case, charged atoms. And underneath this plexiglass and inside this glass tube, which is actually made out of quartz, is our, is our quotes, quantum computer. And this, we, we're only able to play with a few quantum bits at a single time, so this, this device is actually, uh, which is the heart of the experiment, is, is only about a tenth of a millimeter in, in size. And then all this stuff you see around is the uh, lenses and mirrors and so on that, that send the laser beams in on our ions, which are in this, in this small glass tubes. I, I, w I don't think I was the, the best student um, when I was in high school, but um, I must say when I took, uh, there was a physics class I took in my senior year and I thought, well, this was pretty cool. And, and I must say that this high school class in physics really got me interested. And here I am. <laughs> The real reward is the science itself and being able to work with the, you know, our colleagues and, and that's what keeps us going, not the, not the awards we can sometimes get along the way.